Welcome, uh, this is Rob Chisholm doing a short tutorial on weather, mainly low and high pressure is what we'll be talking about today. You see the low pressure turning very fast, anti-clockwise, started in the southwest and is now heading northeast, the normal track for our weather. High pressure rotating slowly clockwise is rolling in nicely into the UK. This is going to be established in the month of June, that's the date we're going to take. And we've got Iceland. The airflow is coming down from the north. It's cool, it's moist. Equals northwest direction there. I'd go to Devil's Dyke if I was in the southeast. It'll be a nice thermic day. Isobars wide apart. Everything's looking sweet. As the day goes on and the following day comes about, we get a nice northeast airflow. It's coming across a dry area, so thermal activity is different, but I would head to fill. Now, as the high pressure establishes at this point, everything's going down, not much thermal activity. I would wait a day or two to go flying, most probably. And then, as the high pressure moves on, it draws air across the continent, being a southeast. Not a lot of thermal activity to be had here. It's going to be warm. The sun's going to be warm. It's not going to equal very good thermal activity. The high pressure moves out the way, and the next low pressure system whizzes in, bringing a southwest direction. That's moist air because it's coming across the water. And now, for our next tutorial, how about looking at the Coriolis effect? Dirty sink in the UK, turning clockwise, and my friend's sink in Australia, nice and clean, turning anti clockwise. That's the next tutorial, Coriolis effect be a little bit more detailed than this one. Thank you for watching.